What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 45 minute full body boot camp. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. I'm so excited that you are here today for our 45 minute full body boot camp. We're gonna be doing superset style. So boot camps in my programming are station one and station two. I used to teach a ton of boot camp classes, so I love the rotations, I love the variety going back and forth. So that's what you're gonna find on the channel this week, okay? As far as dumbbells, we've got a full body workout today. I'm gonna to be using anything from a 10 up to a probably 40 pound dumbbell. We do start off with a goblet squat, and that's where I'll push up into the heavier weights. And for the rest of the workout, it'll probably be more up into the 15, 20, 25 area. Okay, make sure also you have water bottles and sweat towels, or a water bottle and a sweat towel. <laughs> and we're gonna jump right into it. But before we get started, make sure you please, if you haven't taken a second, to go ahead and click subscribe right below, do that. Or when you're done with the workout, I appreciate it so, so much, okay? All right, give me a thumbs up if you are ready. We're gonna start off back here today. Hinging backwards, okay, hands on your hips, little bend in the knee, three, two, one, here we go. Push back and stand, push and stand. Good job. One more and meet me back at the top and slide your hands down your legs, inchworm it out and inchworm back into your toes. So come to a full plank and then walk back, full plank, walk back. Really excited for this week of workouts with you guys today. Remember, the mission is get stronger. Strength, muscle, okay? So push yourself today. Walk out into a plank and stay here. Good, lift your hips, pike, and then drop it down to the floor. Good job, lift and pike. Drop it down to the floor. Good, one more, lift and pike. Drop it down to the floor. Great job, walk it back to your toes and walk into a squat, nice deep squat. Okay, shift left and right, opening up your hips. Here we go. We do have 45 second work periods today. Come on up, all right, heel to the glute. Two rounds through every superset and then a little 30 second jog in between circuits, okay? So the first one will have squats, one, two, one, two, 30 second jog, then breathe, okay? March it out right up front here. The jog is optional, by the way, but just wanted to kind of cool it down after a circuit with a little cardio and then grab some water. Three, two, one, wider stance. Let's go normal squats. Good job. Very excited for this workout today. Make sure you're coming in with, no matter what energy you have today, just knowing you're gonna do your best. That's all it takes. You'll have different energy levels every single day. Come up top. What you do each day is to do the best with what you have. Do the best you can with what you have. The day that you have today is a blessing and our ability to move is a blessing. So let's move together and let's work hard. Good, backward circles. And forwards. Good work, all right, 10 jumping jacks. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. We're starting with a goblet squat, round number one. Okay, so grab a dumbbell right here, goblet squat. Okay, we'll go together in four. I'm using my 40 pound dumbbell. Two, one, let's go. 45 seconds right here. Sit in your heels, push your butt back. Make sure you don't forget about your core. Good, take your time on this so you can go heavy. Form is everything, especially when you start pushing heavier weights. You're doing great, come on. 15 seconds. Nice work, four, 
three, two, one. All right, leave the dumbbell in station one. Station two, we're coming over five second pulse, five second hold. You'll go with my timing. We go here for five seconds, here for five seconds, okay? Ready, two, one, sit it down, pulse. Pulsing for five. And hold, five, four, three, pulse again in two, one, let's go. Five seconds here. And hold. And pulse. Good job, come on. And hold. Push the heels down. And pulse, here we go. 10 more seconds. Last five second hold, five, four, three, two, one, rest, good job. We're back to your goblet squats. Can you go any heavier? You got 11 seconds and we'll go together. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds, no pulsing over here, <laughs> just the squat. Nice tight core. Don't let your back round. Just think of your torso straight down in between your heels. Good job. Keep the core tight. 15 seconds. Seven. Four, three, two, one, good job. Station two, five second pulse, five second hold. Here we go. Sit it down in two, one, let's pulse. And hold. And pulse. And hold. Good job, come on. And pulse. Here we go, let's do it. 20 seconds down. And hold. Whew. And pulse, come on. And hold. Good, five seconds, you'll pulse one more round. And pulse, let's go. Four, three, two, one 30 second jog, jog it out. Good job. You can move around. You can breathe if you'd like. Don't have to jog. That's a good way to cool it down. Legs are on fire. Let's jog it out. 15 more seconds. Good job. Good work. Seven, six. Two, one, and breathe. Grab some water. Great job, you've got 30 seconds rest. All right, so that's kind of what you can expect for each circuit. Two long rounds, a 30 second jog out. We're moving into upper body now. You've got a shoulder press to start, okay? I'm going with my 25s, just right here. Okay, let's go in two, one, here we go. 45 seconds. Keep your wrists right over your elbows. Good work. 20 more seconds. Good, last 10. Almost there. Eight, seven. Three, two, one. Good. You got lateral raise. Pulse, pulse, and lower. I'm gonna go for my eight pound dumbbells. Okay, seven seconds. You've got up, up, down. Okay. Three, 
two, one, let's go. Good job. One, two, and lower. That's it. 30 seconds left. And we'll do one more round of the same two, okay? Great work. Last 15. Perfect. Seven, six, four, three. One more. Two, one, rest. Good job. All right. Back to the shoulder press. If you can go up, let's try it. Okay, I'm going to grab my 30s. I've got my 25s there. Okay, just in case I need to drop down. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good job, 25. I can't lose this time. That's it, 15. Come on, I'm with you. 10. 7, 6. 2, 1, rest. Good job, sorry. I wanted to push up to those 30s really bad. Okay, last round. Lateral raise pulses. Pulse twice and come back to the hips. Ready? Let's go. There we go. Just a little pause, pause. Lower with control. That's good. So with the presses, you're using a ton of anterior deltoids. So right here in the front of your shoulder. I wanted to pull the lateral in to get you strong on that side part of your shoulder. The lateral deltoid. Good work, 15 seconds. 10, nine, good job. We'll go for a 30 second jog right after this. Six, five, four, three, two, dumbbells down and jog it out. Give me a little more speed here since we did upper body. Let's move those legs. Good job, great work. We've got some core up next. Okay, 15 more seconds. Speed it up a little more, come on. Five, good job. Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds rest. Great work. All right, I'm gonna throw these dumbbells back up out of the way. We've got some water break time. Woo. Great work. All right, so we've got a straight leg crunch, bent leg crunch, and then bicycles. Okay, so lay it on down with me here. All right, straight leg, bent leg. So you got straight leg here, bent leg here. Okay, we'll go in four, three, two, let's go. Up, bend, up. Good job, so you're going up with the toes up and a little diagonal with the bent leg. The point is just constant contraction. Great job, come on. Good, give me 12 more seconds. We'll go until you see 31.30 on the clock. Let's go. Come on, three, two, one. Great job. Options for your bicycles. You can take your dumbbells right here over your chest or you can put them on your shoulders, crunch up and turn with them. Tougher option is here, okay? 
Let's go in. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Now, if they're sitting on your shoulders, they are pushing against you crunching up. That's why this is tougher, okay? I do want them touching your shoulders. Good, big twist, come on. Ten more seconds, good job. Five, four, and rest. Ah, great job. If you're not able to lay on your back right now, option for this one here. Take one leg up, crunch the side, crunch the side, okay? Here we go, round number two, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, strong, strong, strong. This is all about fighting against resistance. Good job, 15 seconds, let's do it. Nine, eight, three, two, and rest. Great job. All right, back to your bicycles. Hands up over your chest or hands weighted on your shoulders. Modification from that can just be body weight bicycles, okay? Whew. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful. Another example, if you cannot do anything on your back, Bicycles here. Okay, we're crunched down to the bottom one. All right. Oh, 20 seconds. I know this one's hard. Let's go, let's go. We've got it. It's hard, but we're stronger. Get ready for a 30 second jog in seven. Three. Two, one, oh, come on up. 30 seconds, jog it out. Great work. Two rounds done with your core. Nice job. All right, pick it up, let's go. Let's get a little bit out of this 30 seconds, come on. Beautiful. 10, nine, five, four, Two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Great job. Whew. Breathe. All right. We're moving down to legs again. Okay, we're going over to the right for round number one. Okay, you've got a lateral lunge pulse. So you're gonna take it out, sit, tap. Okay, just pulse it out right here. Body weight option right here. Okay, I'm using my 25. As soon as you get your dumbbell, four, three, we'll go in two, one, here we go. Sit, push. Now this leg over here is just hanging out. Okay, so you're thinking of basically a single leg squat over here. Good, stay down in it. Come on, sit, sit, sit. Great job, you've got about 15 seconds left. Big push, big push, come on. Three, two, I'm sorry, five, four, that was my fault, three, two, one. Sorry about that, that was my fault. All right, now we're taking it out too. A lateral squat step. You're stepping to the right each time, okay? So you're staying here, right, up, right, up, okay? 
Let's go in three, two, one. Together, step right, step right. If you don't want to use a dumbbell, go right here. Okay, I'm gonna want you shifting your weight out to that right leg each time. Good. Stay low with me here. Beautiful. 12. Seven. Come on, sit, sit, sit. Four, three. And rest, good job. 15 seconds, stepping to the left. Same thing, lateral lunge. And make sure you step out, your butt goes back. Weight is in the heel. Sit back, sit back. Ready? Let's go. Good, push up, pull your abs in when you come halfway up. Come on. Keep your chest straight so you're sitting down, not leaning to it. Okay, 15. Come on, big push. Four, three, come on, two, one, breathe. All right, step out, squat. So you're squatting, squatting. Both legs are bent. You're doing great. Whew. Two, one, let's go. Squat. Good, 15 down. Let's go, let's go. Beautiful job, 15 to go. Nine, eight, four, two, 30 second jog, let's go, drop it down. Jog it out, shake it out. Great work. Whew. Nice job. 30 second jog, you can do any kind of cardio you want here. Just breathe. 10, nine, three, two, one, and breathe. Great job. Whew. All right. Very proud of you. We're crossing into that second half of the workout already. Whew. All right, come on down to the floor with me. All right, we're gonna go tricep push-up jacks. I'm gonna give you an extra 15 seconds to show you three options. Starting on your knees will be the first option. Hands under your shoulders, bend back, come up, plank jack. Option number two, stay on your feet. Plank jack at the top. Option three, toughest one, you go down, plank jack, come up. Okay, pick your option. We'll start with the tough one and go as long as you can. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go, belly tight for everyone. If you're going down and then jacking, make sure you're not going down, keeping your butt up, okay? That's a good risk for a low back injury. Keep it tight. Big push. Good, 15 seconds, come on. Eight, seven, 
victory. Rest. <laughs> Good job. Tricep kickbacks are next. I'm gonna go with a 10 pound dumbbell. Okay, standing. No trickery here, just regular kickbacks. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Good, nice flat back, nice tight core. Beautiful, feel that shake at the top. That's your muscle, you're flexing that muscle. Okay, we need that lock out in the elbow. So it's not just get it back and forth, it's get it there, squeeze flex, come down. Come on, don't skip the flex. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, beautiful. Okay, we're back. Tricep, push up, jack. Whatever this looks like for you is fine. If you're on your knees, you're on your toes, you're jacking when you're in the bottom or at the top, just give me your best right here, together. Let's go. And this is also a chance, if you're working on these tricep push-ups, just give me some reps. Give me some volume, okay? Go to where you benefit the most. Pull that belly button in right before you plank jack. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Tricep kickbacks. Great work. Whatever level you did there, nice job. Good work. Here we go, kick it back in four, three, two, let's go. Beautiful job. 15 seconds down, here we go, second 15. Good job. Fifteen seconds, let's go. Can you go double time? That's it. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, jog it out. One, thirty seconds jog. Let's go. Woo. Come on. Good job. Moving back into some core next, okay? You're doing fantastic. Keep moving with me. 15 seconds. Good, your whole body is working here. In this workout today, it's everything. Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds rest. Beautiful job. Right. Here we go. Back to the core. You're gonna go seated tuck around the world. So you have your around the world at the top. Modifications first. On the side if you need to. For the mamas, don't feel like going on your back. Give me an open, close, reach. Okay, open, close, reach. All right. If you can, holding an eight pound dumbbell is what I'm gonna do. We're here. Seated, tuck, around the world. Okay, or one foot, back up, around the world. Ready, pick your option, let's go. Don't lay back until you get back to here, okay? So don't take it here and just start going back. All right, complete the full circle. Open, close. Ten seconds. Good. Four, three, 
two, one, lay it over onto your right hip, okay? Right hip, dumbbell is overhead or arm overhead. You're taking that top leg, crunch down. If you can, both legs, crunch down. Let's go. I want you to turn your chest up towards that knee and then go back down. Nice job. If you want to put that foot on the floor, I've got mine just in between my dumbbells, but if you want to take it to the floor, use this bottom arm to push, come up, come back down. Okay? Ribs open to the front, they lift, they turn. 10. Four. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Seated tuck around the world. And then we'll flip over onto our left hip. Okay. All right. Here we go. Two, one. Let's go. Seated tuck. Good job. Whew. And as soon as you reach your feet out, reach your belly button back and down. So your lower back is pulled in. It's not here, it's here. You're always in this crunch position. 10. Four, three, and rest, good job. You're over on your right hip now. I'm sorry, left hip, or whatever one you did not just do. Okay, watch my ribs. They're open, they lift, and then they turn, okay? Dumbbell or not, that's what you want. Ready, let's go. Lift, turn, open, lift, turn. Good, stabilize. Good, and you should put your weight, it should be on that top part of your glute. You wanna make this tougher, move this arm out of the way. Okay, oh yeah, a lot tougher. Beautiful, five, three, Two, one, 30 second jog, come on up. Whew. Beautiful work. Come on, just 30 seconds. Jog around, low impact, power march. Good, 10 seconds. Two, one, rest. Beautiful. Ah, you're doing incredible, guys. We've just got three more circuits here. Ah, good work. All right. This next one is an option to grab your glute resistance band, if you would like. We've got a baby squat walk, and then Pop squats with a heel click, okay? That pop squat with the heel click, I'm gonna offer advice to not use the dumbbells, I mean the resistance bands. But if you wanna use a resistance band here on this first one, you're just giving me a squat walk, side to side, okay? Come with me in five seconds. Okay, do not want you coming up. I want you seated the whole time. Ready? Let's go. Toes point forward, belly button stays in between your legs. Watch what this is not supposed to be. See how I'm flowing back and forth? My weight all the time stays between my two heels. Chest is up, belly is tight, I'm centered. Okay, so don't take your foot out and then pull yourself to it. Your body moves with your feet. With that resistance, here we go. 
Heel drags outward. Good, let's just go for 10 more seconds, okay? Nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Rest, glute resistance band down. Okay, options. You've got pop squats with three pulses in between. Here we go, one, two, watch closely. Three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, touch. Okay, let's go together. Start with your three, come on. One, two, three, give me some height. There we go. There you go. Full hip extension, watch my hips, they're not here. They are here, fully extend. Ten. Four, one more, three, two, one, yes. There we go, 15 seconds. We're back over here. Whew. Right above your knees. Five seconds, we're going. Three, two, let's go, sit it down. Stay with your heels, do not let them go side to side. So no, one leg is never straight where you're pushing over here. They're both bent the whole time. Beautiful, drag those heels out, keep the knees bent. Keep your weight in your heels, 10. Come on, five. Three, two, one, yes. Good job. Three pulses, heel click with height. Even if you're not jumping, I want that full hip extension. Okay? Three, two, one, three pulses. Let's go. One, two, three, up. Come on, you're beautifully strong right now. Incredible, positive thoughts. Yes, I'm strong. Jump, yes, I'm strong. There we go, yes, we are strong. 15. 10. Good. One more together, yes, I'm strong. Rest. 30 seconds jog, I forgot. 30 seconds jog, not rest. Woo! Jog it out. Good work. Breathe. Come on. Nine, eight, four, three, rest. Oh. Good job. Water if you need it. All right. So, got some compound moves here at the end. Plank row and push up. Now, if you are not doing anything on your wrists right now, I want you to just go bent row, okay? If you're not doing anything wrist pressure wise, just give me a bent row, left, right, okay, with the dumbbells. If you can, you're gonna row left, push up, row right. Okay, options here. One push up can be on your knees or your toes, okay? You can also just do one dumbbell in the middle. Row, push up. Ready? Seven seconds, we're going together. In four, three, two, one, let's go. One row, one push up. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Just don't let your belly relax. When your belly starts to relax, it starts to get very tough to keep this plank form for your push up or your row. So don't let it relax. Seven, six, two, one, rest. Now we're laying back for core. Dumbbell jackknives with overhead to belly position. I'm gonna take my eight pound dumbbells. Okay, options here. We're going overhead. Your legs can go down one or two at a time. Come back up here. Okay, so if you wanna go one leg, you're opening, come back up, crunch. Ready, one or two legs. And here we go. I want that little reset moment right here before you release everything again. Good job, I know this one's tough, come on. Last circuit here. Fifteen seconds. Five. Two. One. Rest. Beautiful job. One more round of both. That's it. Thirty second jog to close it out. And we've made it. Can you go any heavier? We've got five seconds. I'm going to go to my twenties. Oh boy. Two. One. Here we go. Come on, this is it. 15 seconds down, second 15. Here we go. Good job. Last 15 seconds. Nine, eight, four, three, and rest. Great job. One last round. Weighted jackknives. This is it, guys. 30 seconds jog after this, and we've made it. Four, three, two, Let's go. Beautiful, come on, breathe. Especially as you crunch, exhale when you crunch. Fifteen seconds, come on. Ten. Five. Last one, two, one. Come up, 30 seconds, sprint. Let's go, this is it right here. Make it count. Go, 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 come on. 30 and you're done. 30 and you are done. Come on, 15, turn it up a little more. Arms, go, core, tight, knees, high. Let's go. Come on, faster, five, four, three, two, one. And breathe. You've made it to your cool down. Come on down to your hands and knees. Drop to your knees, fill up your lungs, let your belly drop. Exhale, lift it. Again. Again, one more time. Exhale, lift it. Sit your hips back. Reach your hands forward. Keep breathing. Look up towards your pinky. And lift your tailbone up, drop it down. Legs are straight back from your hips. Lift your chest up and away from the mat. Amazing work. 
Way to start this week off right. Holy, that was amazing. I hope you felt great today. Come on up onto all fours. Give me your left leg up top. Push your hips down, open up to your front knee. I hope in every single exercise today, you pushed yourself. Come down and switch. Notice I didn't say I hope in every single exercise today you got it all perfect, right? If you've got that expectation, you might be a little too hard on yourself, not make this journey enjoyable. Now, I will never say that competing with yourself isn't great. If you can keep that mindset about you against you, keep it there, okay? Come back to hands and knees, tuck your toes down, lift your hips, drive your heels down. Now here's the difference in you versus you and you never giving yourself enough credit. You versus you could be, I did so great on that plank row today, next time I'm gonna go even heavier, okay? You against you is, that plank row was so hard today, I probably could have done it better today, right? There's a difference in taking what you did and using it and motivating yourself to be better next time. That's opportunity, that is positive mindset. You against you is never giving yourself credit, is never saying, I showed up today and I wasn't feeling amazing, but I did it. You instead would say, I showed up today and I did crappy, right? I don't want you to be in that second mindset. I want you to be in the first one where you say, either I wanna push myself harder next time and I'm proud of what I did today, or I know what I did today was the best with what I had today. It wasn't my best, but it was the best that I had today, and that's it. That's great, that's all I can do, and I'm proud of that, okay? Don't ever go into the place where you step out of a workout where you've clearly worked your hardest, and then, boom, just punch yourself down. No, we don't want that. I want you to be proud of everything you just did. Motivate yourself by saying, next time, I'm gonna challenge myself more this way. Or next time, I bet if, even if I'm not as tired as I am, I can push just as hard or harder, okay? Positive leaving this time with me, leaving this mat, okay? I never want you to leave a workout feeling negatively if you work out with me, ever. I never want you to feel negative about yourself, ever, okay? Be proud of your efforts. If you're not doing what you know you need to do on the back end with your nutrition and your sleep, learn from it, do it better. A lot of people look at it and they say, no, I've been doing bad. That means I'm bad and I'm just stuck in the bad and I can't get out of it. It's not how it works. Progress is taking what you've done, you see it, you know your habits, you know what you've been doing, know right here I can do better, and then the step where a lot of people miss is you just start doing it. You start whether you know what you're doing or not. You start sloppy, but you start. You can never see progress if you don't start, okay? So take all of these things and leave this workout today feeling positive, pumped, motivated for the week. Know that you're doing your best today. If you wanna do better than uh, the next workout tomorrow, next week, no, you can, no, you will try, no, you will do your best every single day. You will do your best and be proud of that best, okay? I'm proud of you, I'm so proud of you for taking this time for you today. So make sure before you head out today, if you're getting any value out of these workouts whatsoever, you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, which is right below this video. That red box, if it says subscribe in red, you're not subscribed yet. It will turn gray and say subscribed. So if you could do that for me really quick, I would appreciate it so, so much. That's all we ask is just to help us grow this channel. Help us in some way reach one more body, reach one more person's heart. We could be the answer that someone is waiting for, they're waiting to find. And if you can help us be a part of that, be a part of getting that to them, that means everything to us. So thank you from Dustin and myself for giving us this time, blessing us with the opportunity to be your trainer and I'll see you back here tomorrow. I love you guys. Bye.